Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. Today we are big balling. We got my favorite car in the world, the Chrysler 300 C SRT8. Now this car is one of my favorite cars. I love these cars. So happy to, we've got a lot to talk about at the front of this car. So from the front here, as you're looking at, we've got the iconic, iconic 300C shape. Previous owner of this car has elected to put the personalized plates on it, which for this car, that's got to, that's got to add a lot of money actually. Also, we've got the aftermarket grill on there. And it's not the Bentley grill, it's actually quite a nice grill, I like it. The lower fog lights, of course, as well as the HID headlights, which make night driving really, really good. And it's part of the look with the HIDs on in this car. You probably drive with them on all the time, actually. Now, coming around the front, the front side of this car, we'll notice things on condition. We've got to really focus on condition with this car, and it's going to be hard to find anything on it, because I have had a look at it for the last few minutes. You'll notice this alloy wheel, factory genuine forged alloy wheel for the SRTs, great condition. Brakes in there as well, the rotors have much thickness, really good condition there. One thing to notice, Falcon tyres on it as well, really good tyres. Now no sign of any sort of chips or marks around the wheel as well. My cameraman's really getting in there for you today. Coming down the side of this car, great angle from where you are there. You will see if there was any stone chips or shopping trolley dents down the side of the car, that angle would show it. There is none really really clean example of this car obviously with the 300 the iconic styling of it big doors little windows chrome trim along the bottom of the windows there get my cameraman to lift up a little bit you will see we've got a sunroof fitted there as well which i think is mandatory for one of these cars to be perfectly honest now the sun is coming out of the clouds a little bit and my camera will probably be able to get a good shot in this area of where the color is changing a little bit a lot of metallic in this paint really really classy paint in this car a nice color it does change a little bit depending on if it's sunny or dark rear wheel on this car obviously quite a lot larger than the front wheel due to the fact this car will go from zero to 100 and bang on five seconds you need a bit of rear grip we have falcon tires on the back and yet again an unmarked forged alloy wheel on the back of this car brakes in good condition of course brembos what else would you have on an srt8 coming around the back of this car this is part of the style as well. I like the previous owners put the little Bumblebee, the Super Bee thing on there as well. So it's an SRT Bumblebee in this one. As well as you've got reversing sensors in this car and the little lip spoiler across the back. Nice exhaust tips down there. Have to have the twin exhaust tips. Wouldn't have a 300 if it wasn't a V8, would you? Now coming down the side of the car, one thing you'll notice, the angle as it comes around the corner, you'll see yet again a good shot down the length of the car. It would show any sort of dents or anything on this car, and there are none. I can't find a pimple dent or anything on it. So whoever's owned this car previously, it was a trade-in here, was really looking after it. I imagine the man parked at the other end of the shopping center when he took it out. This is the gutter side of the car. So if there was to be a gutter rash on a wheel, generally it'd be on this one. As you can see, yet again, unmarked forged alloy wheel on the back now let's have a little look what does it actually say on this one look at the little hub the little valve covers the previous owner's gone to the effort of putting hemi valve covers on it as well that's a nice little touch i like it now coming down the side of the car no signs of fingernail scratchings or anything like that on it really really clean we had the window down on the driver's side and here you'll see we do have tinted windows front and back you have to have tinted windows on this car Coming up to the front wheel, the last of the forged wheels, you can stop hearing us talk about wheels at this point, a little 300 c to remind you, unmarked as well, and I use that word very carefully, there is not a single even a touch, I don't even think these wheels have been near a gutter by the looks of them, they are in that good a condition, yet again, Falcon tyre on the front, now we will come around, there is one thing on the whole car, one little nick on the whole vehicle, and it's just here, there is a little bit, a couple of stone chips just above this headlight. They're quite small, probably a touch up pen and you will never know they were there. But overall, this car presents in brilliant, brilliant condition. That's gotta be the song for this car. Absolute great, last song of R&B Friday on the Fox while we're recording this video. Perfect fitting thing for this car, probably should turn it down. Because although I'd like to hear the music, you probably want to hear me, hopefully. 
We're going to do a lot of talking in the inside of this car. There's quite a lot here to talk about. So we better start over on the right hand side. We have moved into the shade so the camera can see a bit better. First thing to note, electric driver's seat with memory. Obviously we've got both keys in at the moment, but whichever key you put in, it will remember it and the car will actually push you forward to the correct driving seat and roll back when you turn the car off to make getting in and out easier. Obviously buttons there to control that. On the driver's door arm here, we've got our power windows as well as door lock. If you're driving through a bad suburb, you can lock the doors. Little button there too uh, with the mirror controls. If you hold the button all the way around as well, it does fold them in. One thing to note, the rear mirrors when are de heated, so when you put the rear demister on, they will demist the water off, making driving the first thing in the morning a lot easier. On the right hand here, we've got handbrake release. Probably should leave that on right now. Little button there to open the boot so your friends can put items of your liking in the back I was going to say bodies but i won't say that i just did we got a button here to turn the fog lights on both front and rear we've got dash brightness as well and if you click it all the way to the top the interior lights turn on we've got the hrd headlight switch there probably leave them on all the time but you do have auto mode there as well one thing to note hrd headlights if the camera and lift up a little bit you can see we're in the middle of the day and they shine bright on that wall up there nice clear cut as well Coming back onto the interior of the car, we do have two keys, as I mentioned before. Nice leather wrap steering wheel here. On the right hand side, you've got all your controls for the center cluster there, as well as a little compass button as well. This side, you've got your controls for all the media. One of the best audio systems in a car. Many, many, many speakers and lots of subwoofers. This car sounds awesome behind that we have a little of an interesting one for australian people this car, this stick here does everything you've got headlights you've got wipers you've got indicators all on the one stick a little bit of getting used to but when you're used to it it does actually work really well the little stick above it is for the cruise control now up above that we've obviously got all our interior interior cluster here saying srt8 and just in case you forgot you've got 6.1 liters of v8 under your foot we do have a temperature gauge taco and obviously speedo as well both with kilometers an hour and mile an hour depending on which way you want to go obviously we've got full and empty on the fuel gauge i like that telling you premium only and fuel doors on that side coming across we're going to do a little bit different today we're going to go up obviously from our iconic little clock here with a really nice trim i want my cameraman to get in a bit closer now i know he's just lied down in the back seat there but come in forward a little bit just so you can see that angle there probably zooming but you'll see nice nice trim detail in that as well coming up from there we'll notice we've got electrochromatic mirror there so basically if someone's got bright headlights like we do on the highway dims down automatically when they when you pull away from them i was gonna say when they turn off no when you pull away from them it will brighten back up again controls here for the sunroof of course as well as the little lights there which you just click on to turn on space for your gangster sunglasses in there as well and above that, we've got our big, big sunroof. If you're looking at the detailing shed roof at there at the moment, probably should give that a clean too, actually. The roof, it's looking a bit dirty. Now, coming back down, I'll shut that so the camera can see again. Coming down again, audio system, we've covered it off a little bit. Little ESP button there, you can turn it off if you want to um, have a little bit of havoc with that 6.1 litres of V8, but I'd probably leave it on just for safety's sake. Big audio system here, doesn't need upgrading. Trust me, it works really well coming down from there we've got our climate control dual zone passenger and driver set we've got it a little low because it's not that hot today you can set it to fully automatic if you want coming down from there i'll just move the shifter out of the way we do have heated seats on setting two it will cook you really really hot seats setting one is nice and comfortable pop the shifter forward again we do have our automatic shifter here r for race n for night mode d for drive Minus and plus there if you're feeling a bit a bit sporty with it. But i found every time I drive these, D sorts it out quite well. Little nook here for you, probably your phone. Coming back a little further, two cup holders. Probably wouldn't fit the big American Super Gulp cups in there. A little, what almost said little glove box. My lord, you could fit everything in there. That is massive. And I reckon, I'm going to ask my cameraman here, do you reckon they're cigar holders? For bigger cigar that's the full hoagie right there look at that that's a monster 12 volt socket down in there as well we digress with cigars now coming around you'll see that srt8 has massive side bolsters in the seat we do have nice microfiber trim in the middle here nice and comfortable so you don't get that stickiness in the lower back which is a bit which is usually with the leather seats really good condition seats in this car the driver's one i'm currently sitting on but great condition as well coming around the interior of the car you're going to just see I can't find a mark in here. The previous owner has lavished this car with love. 
Now in the back of there, the camera is pointing out, we do have rear air conditioning vents, as well as we've got the mats there in the back and the front of this car. In the back, really quite, you can use it as a five chair, but as a four chair is probably the way to go because it is set up that way with the bolsters and the rear cup holders. Probably not the most comfortable place to sit on that cup holder. Going around, I think my cameraman pointed out to me earlier, we do have the coat hanger there as well as the, uh, the little grab handle there. As well, it's got a little light in there. I wonder if I can make it, there you go, I can make it turn on with my little switch up here too. One thing to note with this car, we do have all of the airbags you require, dual front, dual front side and dual side curtain airbags as well. They're fully featured in every way inside here, both safety and with all the technology you'd ever want. All right, round to the front of the SRT. Still got the HIDs on, they probably will turn off in a moment there. But one thing to note, we've got a lot of engine to talk about. You're looking at 6.1 litre V8 Hemi. It's gonna give you 317 kilowatts of power, 569 newton meters of torque. Combine that to a five-speed automatic transmission. It does deliver some fuel economy at 14.2 liters to the 100. Out of a 71 liter tank, you are gonna get 500 kilometers of range. Something to note, has had the, the Mopar intake fitted to it, as well as a fabric filter here as well, which makes it sound quite a lot better on this car as well. All right, round to the back of the SRT8 now. You will notice many of the films this car are in, they are stuffing bags with people that used to be people and aren't anymore. One thing you can do is fit many of those bags in this car. Massive boot. Boot does swing up quite quickly in this one, actually. Masses and masses amounts of space. You have a massive boot in the car. Now, one thing we were talking about a little bit when we were talking about R&B Friday before, this thing has actually had extra subwoofer. It has a massive kicker unit in there and Trust me, you can feel it when you drive this car. Amazing audio here. My cameraman actually is a massive audiophile as well, and he quite likes this car. Underneath this little cover here, which is gonna be a little bit tricky to get out because of the subwoofer, but there we go. We do have an envelope there with the tow hook obviously in it. We've got the factory battery sitting here. That's where it sits in these cars, as well as our little toolkit there, which has a compressor because we don't have a spare wheel in this car because we don't really feel like carrying extra 50 kilos of weight. We want to go faster. Thank you for watching this video walk around of our 09 SRT8 sedan. As you've seen, condition on the outside, absolutely amazing bar three tiny little stone chips on the bonnet there. Apart from that, this car presents immaculately, both inside and out. Great buying here. Don't forget to ask your salesperson about a five year mechanical protection plan that is available on this car, which does include five years of roadside assist as well. And low rate finance options we can apply to this vehicle as well. The number here is 9709 2999 and thank you for watching.